Six ways to find your focus. How do you find your focus in the things that you want to do? Most people that you know are absolutely distracted. They procrastinate, they put things off. How can you find your focus? Number one is you need to eliminate distractions. Get rid of the distractions inside your life. If you're sitting next to someone in school that continually distracts you, you move away from that in order for you to gain your focus. If you're around individuals, that actually keep you from becoming successful in life. And what you need to do is you need to spend some time away from them. I've had people work for me over the years who I absolutely loved. I thought that they were great. They were people that I would love to go to the mall with and that I'd love to go to dinner with, but they were not people that I liked to work with. They did not wanna work, but I loved them. I thought that they were great, but in order to eliminate distractions, they need to be able to move on. Number two is reduce multitasking. If I'm going to eliminate distractions, if I'm going to actually gain my focus, I'm going to have to learn how to reduce doing 10 things at once. Do one thing and get it done. Now, I can tremendously multitask. I can do five things at once. But at the same time, when you do five things at once, you may not really get done all the things that you want to get done. You may actually not be able to achieve what you want to achieve. So you reduce the multitasking. You have people all over the place, situations everywhere that what they're trying to do, they vie for your time. They try to distract you. It's not that necessarily that that's their purpose in life is to distract you, but what it is, is that they demand time. Everybody only wants a minute. And what that does is it causes you to multitask and come to the end of the day and feel like you haven't gotten anything done. But you know what? You will when you reduce multitasking. And then number three is this, is practice self-awareness. If you want to focus, know where you are. If you want to focus, know what you're thinking about. If you want to focus, you can move yourself back into what you want to move yourself into. You really can because you need to practice being aware of yourself, being aware of what the situation becomes because you've inserted yourself into it you become aware of everything that you are and everything you do. Number four, get more sleep. Do everything that you can do to sleep as much as you possibly can. If that means that what you need to do is that you need to go to bed earlier, go to bed earlier. I have friends that go to bed at six o'clock at night and they get up at three a.m. in the morning because they say between three and eight o'clock in the morning when no one else is awake, they get really all of their work done for that particular day and then they just need to let it kind of uh, be distributed wherever it needs to go. So get more sleep in your life. Find out how much sleep that you need in order to be able to regain and to keep your focus. Number five, you focus on the present moment. Be present where you are, 100% all the time. If you want the focus in your life that you really need, be present all the time. When you're with your family, you're present, you're really there. You're not sitting there looking at your phone and going through all of your messages. You're with your family. When you're at work, you're at work, not trying to answer the kids or answering your friends or hanging out. That's one of the worst thing that's ever happened to the American workplace is people take their mobile devices, whether they're iPads or whether it be their smartphones, they take them into the workplace and they spend really most of their day not doing their job, but actually living an entire life that's outside of their job and thus they never become successful. And then lastly, number six is take short breaks. Figure out that really you can have 45 minutes somewhere, just 45, and then take 15, whether it be that you close your eyes for 10 minutes or whether it be that what you do is that you come to a place to where you just get up and you walk around because even going to the chiropractor, the chiropractor really is the thing that really told me about this because the chiropractor said, look, you're spending too much time sitting in front of your computer. You need to get up every hour and every hour you need to walk around a little bit because otherwise you're gonna need to be adjusted chiropractically. You need to know how to do that. And those are the six things that will help you find your focus.